a friend to all and foe to none. The core of government's foreign policy, the president reminded the country's diplomats in yesterday's huddle where he urged them to explore non-traditional and common points of interest that could turn out mutually beneficial as our Melanes Moras lays out in this report. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. reaffirmed today the Philippine government's strong trade and investment relations with the Singaporean government, vowing to further expand them. He said this as he met and received the credentials of newly installed ambassador to the Philippines of Singapore, Constance C. Sinuan in Malacanang. Singapore has been a longtime diplomatic partner of the Philippines, encompassing trade and investment, defense and security, education and cultural exchanges. Prior to this, yesterday, President Marcos also met with recently appointed Filipino chiefs of mission and ambassadors in Malacanang, where he pointed out his administration remains neutral in terms of foreign policy, not siding on the views of any other countries. He said the Philippines only sides to our own country, not to the U.S., not to China, and not to Russia, and that is because we are independent in what we do. But at the same time, he also called on Filipino ambassadors to continuously look for so-called non-traditional partners. The chief executive said if there are opportunities that would come up, especially on agriculture, energy, infrastructure development, and digitalization, which are the priority aspects of the government, they should explore them, and if they're promising enough, then the administration will take it up. Melales Moras for the nation.